But praise God, our spirit man, amen to God, is excited. How yeah. many spiritual man or woman excited in here tonight? Amen. Amen. Go over to God. I don't know if you'll be when I'm done preaching, praise God, but <laughs> hallelujah. Thank God for the word, though. Come on. Hallelujah. Go to your Bibles with me tonight to Ephesians chapter 4. Oh, hallelujah. I want to know love like that. Amen. Praise God. How many of you just giving somebody a hug today because you love them? Amen. Amen. Go over to God. If you got a wife and you've seen her and you gave her a hug today, it felt good, didn't it? Amen. If you got a husband, praise God, and you've seen him or hadn't seen him all day, and then you finally do, you give him a hug because you missed him. Amen. If you got kids, praise God, you know you want to run and grab them and hug them. Amen. Come on. And vice versa. Go over to God. You know, Jesus is the same way. Amen. Amen. He loves us. Hallelujah. Yeah. He cares for us. Amen. The Bible says, casting all your care upon Him, for He careth for you. Amen? Amen. You know, Jesus likes to hug and love on us. Amen? Yeah. How many in here doesn't like to be loved on? How many does? Come on. Amen. Go over to God. Everybody loves to be hugged and, and boasted on and bragged on. Amen? Come on. Well, don't you think Jesus does too? Amen. Come on now. We always forget about Jesus. Come on. We always think that Jesus don't care. He don't mind, amen to God. If we just put Him last, He's okay. Yeah. He don't mind, praise God. But I tell you, He does mind tonight. Amen. He wants your 100% undivided attention. Come on. He doesn't want you going a whoring and destroying after other things other than Him because you have put idols before Him, so therefore you have committed a some form of a spiritual adultery, amen? amen? Because if He is your husband and you are part of His bride, amen to God, you don't need to be going after other things. Come on. Need to be loving Jesus every day the way He loves you. Come on now. Amen. Praise God. Don't get quiet. Don't be helping preach tonight. Yeah. Come on. This is going to be a simple message, but it's probably one of the most powerful ones other than the message of salvation. Amen. Come on. And we're talking about love tonight. Yeah. Ephesians chapter 4, beginning in verse 14, and we're going to read out to verse 16. In the name of Jesus, the only name. Amen. Come on. Somebody say the name. Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on. Did you know devils just devils and demons just fled out of here when you spoke that name? Come on. Say it again. Let the rest of them go. Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. They can't stand to hear that name. Yeah. Praise God. The Bible says in Ephesians 4.14 that we henceforth be no more children. Woo. Man. Come on. Tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine. Let me stop there for a second. Come on. Have you ever seen in the day in which we live in so many people going after so many other different things other than the Word of God? Yeah. This radio show I was telling you about just a minute ago, I want to pause there on the reading. They had a question today. They're, they're, they were talking about love. And they had some good points, and then they just had some really ridiculous, stupid points. For believers. They call themselves believers, but they don't have a clue. They're as lost as the ball is in high weeds. And I'll tell you why. They asked the question. They said, how do you tell your children about the Lord? And, and the, the lady, it was a man and woman doing the show. The lady said, well, we don't want to get too deep. We don't want to say that the Holy Spirit dwells in us because it may confuse them. I got news for you. Come on. The Bible says Jesus ascended up, so He sent the Spirit down. Amen? Amen. So the Spirit of God dwells in us. Amen? Yeah. So why not tell them the truth? Come I mean, on. you'll lie to them about every other thing. You'll lie and say that Santa Claus is coming down the chimney. Come on. Hallelujah to God. And He's going to bring you gifts if you're good or bad. I don't know why I hit that, but that's just one of the lies that parents tell kids today. I tell you, if you want to be truthful, hallelujah to God, tell them what really is going on. Jesus, amen to God, the man Jesus ascended to heaven and He sent His Spirit back to dwell in us, amen to God. Come on. There is a Holy Ghost, amen. Yeah. So she proceeded on, well, we don't need to tell the kids that there is a Spirit because it may frighten them. Come on now. I mean, my goodness. But you'll let them, you'll let them watch Harry Potter. Come you'll on. let them watch all these old stupid things that promotes evil spirits, and you say, that's okay. Yeah. Come on now. Come on. My Lord. Why not tell your kids the truth? 
And then they got to another question. And it was along the same lines. And somebody said, well, how do we tell our kids that God loves us, but we don't want to tell them that He died on the cross? Why not? Yeah. Tell them the truth. Jesus Christ died on the cross for me, for you, for the children, for everybody in this world. Come on. There's no sense of sugarcoating it. Tell what happened. Amen? Amen. Now, I mean, you don't have to get in detail and say they ripped his guts out and did this and that. you you got to use some common sense, you know. Come on. But tell the truth. Tell what the Bible says. Amen to God. Tell what His Word says. Amen? Amen. Carried about with every wind of doctrine by the slain of men and the cunning and craftiness whereby they lie and wait to deceive. But speaking the truth in love. Amen? I know that four-letter word we don't like to hear sometimes. May grow up into Him in all things which is the head, even Christ, from whom the whole body fitly joined together and compacted by that which every joint supplies according to the effectual working in the measure of every part, make an increase of the body unto the edifying or building up of itself in what? Come on. What did it say there? The building up of what? Itself in love. Yeah. In love. The church today, praise God, we need to grow up. We need to start loving one another. We need to start putting it in action. Amen? And quit talking about it. Quit saying I love you. Quit saying I love you. Amen that you love you. But start showing it. Come on. Jesus showed it at the cross. Amen. Praise God. And I'm not saying you've got to go die somewhere. I'm just simply saying if we all, praise God, do what we say we're going to do for one another, help each other, encourage one another. If somebody says pray for me, Pray for them. Amen. How many have ever had somebody ask you to pray for me and you didn't? Yeah, that's the truth. Amen. Amen. You honestly meant to, Come on. but you didn't. Yeah. And then when you seen them, yeah, I prayed for you. And you lied. <clears throat> you had good intentions, but you didn't. Because you let the, the hectic days and the, the busyness of life get you. Praise God. We've got to start being real about this. I tell you, you know, we if we actually looked at ourselves in the mirror of the Word, yeah. really, if we took His Word and we said, let me examine myself in the Word, we wouldn't be there. Come on. We wouldn't see in the natural after we take a shower and get our hair combed and brush our teeth. We wouldn't see a clean product. We would see a product that has dirt. Come on. We would see a product that needs to be under the blood of Jesus. Amen. Amen. I'm talking about believers who've been living faithfully for God. Come on. We have not reached the mark yet, and we need to get there. Praise God. I want to use for a subject tonight, growing up spiritually, because we need to do that. Yeah. It's bad when you have 70-year-old Christians who act like five-month-old babies. Yeah. Come on. Come on. And it's something when you have five-month-old babies who's more mature than adults. Woo. Help me, church. Don't leave me stranded. Hallelujah. Growing up spiritually. Father, we come before you in Jesus' name. And we thank you, Lord, for an opportunity that we get to examine ourselves by your word. Father, let us decrease as you increase tonight. Lord, let this word take root in our hearts. And help us, Lord God, to love the way you loved. Hallelujah. Hanging on that cross. Forgive us, Lord, where we have not loved. Forgive us where we've had bitterness and strife towards our brothers and sisters. Forgive us, Lord, where we've had envy and jealousy and we were murmured and complained about them. And when we see them coming, Lord God, we want to go the other way. Forgive us, Lord. Help us to be like you. Help us to be like the man or the woman in the mirror of the Word. Change our ways, Lord, to Your ways. In Jesus', in Jesus precious name. And everybody said, Amen. And amen. I can't change you just like you can't change me. But I pray tonight that something that's said out of the Word will make you want to change you. Yeah. I look at me, praise God, and I think, you know all this 219-pound big muscle man Okay, I'm 145 pounds. 
Hallelujah. Scrawny as a, as a mop. Come on. But you know, I looked in the Word. And I, I'm so thankful, Sister Reese, that the Word still shows me areas I need to correct. Yeah. I'm thankful that the Spirit still says you need to straighten this area of your life out. Amen. I'm thankful tonight that I can still read the Word and the Word will prick me and cut me. Come on. And say, whoa, I need to fix that. Yeah. Because that don't line up with His Word. Come you on. don't line up line upon line and precept upon precept. Amen? Amen. And that's the way every day we need to be. We need to get up and start our day out with, Lord, make me as You are. Come on. Let me talk today as You would talk. Amen. Talk through me, Lord. Yeah. Let me be a light in a world of darkness. Amen? Come on. Let yeah. me be an encouragement to those who are down. Amen. Let me help somebody who, some, who other people won't help. Amen. See, that's what we're supposed to be like. We're supposed to go and help those who the world calls outcast and trash and filth. Amen? Come on. Amen. We're supposed to love them. If they're in need of something, we're supposed to help them. We're supposed to give to them. Amen? Amen. What does it say if... If you if you have a brother in need or a sister in need, if they ask you to go one mile, go with them twain. Yeah. If they if they don't have a coat, yeah. give them yours. I know I'm paraphrasing there. If they don't have nothing to eat, feed them. Come on. If they're thirsty, give them the drink. Amen. He said, "Whatsoever you do unto the least of these, yeah. you've done it unto me." That's Jesus talking. Amen. But have we done that? Come on. Have we done it? Have we been truthful about it? Amen? Amen. <clears throat> or have we just let the ways of the world consume us? Have we let the enemy in and have his way? The church is supposed to be the one where people says, Hallelujah, I want to be like them. Come on. I want to be like that brother or sister, amen, to God, who when I go to him, for an answer to a problem. He gives me or she gives me the answer. Amen to God, which is Jesus. Come on. With no judgment, no criticism, no, yeah. I'm better than you because I'm a Christian. I mean, we've got to drop this tonight. Amen. Drop Come the on. act. <laughs> hallelujah to God. I'm glad Jesus didn't walk around, hallelujah, on the hallelujah, the 33 years He was on this earth. I'm glad He didn't walk around and say, I'm better than thou. Come on. He got down and got dirty with them. He was a carpenter, amen. amen. Yeah. He got down and got in the dirt and helped them. He got on the fishing boat, praise God. He ain't like the modern preachers to where they have manicures, and praise God, they won't dare pick up nothing, no trash to take it to the garbage can because that's not their place. Their place is to stand here nice and neatly with their nice little suit, amen to God, and to proclaim a false gospel, amen to God, that is not reaching nobody but making people wealthy. Come on. Jesus got down in the dirt. Jesus went the extra mile. He got amen. down. Praise God. If you need me to give you a bath because you can't, I'll give you a bath. Amen to God. I'm talking about that. We do the nursing home ministry on Thursday night, and I tell you, some of the people come in there and they don't smell too right. Yeah. And I don't mean that in a mean way. They can't help it. You know, some of them, they've got a sicknesses that make them you know, have a body odor. They can't help that. But we're still supposed to love. Yeah. I had a woman tell me one night she had a, I guess, an infection or something. They had it covered up on her side there. And she kept a pause. She said, Brother Mike, she says, I'm sorry that I smell. Yeah. I said, You can't help it. It's not your fault. Oh, I, I, I smell, you know, and I, I don't, you know, I apologize. And she you know, and I got to thinking about that. She was so sorry for apologizing for, you know, that wound. She couldn't help it. Yeah. She said, well, I just don't want you to think bad of me. Did you hear that? I don't Come want on. you to think bad of me. I don't yeah. want you to judge me because I have an issue. <laughs> Praise God. And I tell you, in my own personal life, I, I often wonder, do people stare at me because my arm doesn't do like my left one does? And sometimes I have issues with that. I'll be preaching sometimes and the devil will say, well, hallelujah to God, they're thinking you look funny. 
Or sometimes when my arm or leg stiffens up real bad, I'll be like, are they staring at my leg and my arm? And Come that's on. just a lie from hell, amen to yeah. God. Because if people truly love me, they're going to look past that, amen? Come on. Hallelujah. And that's the kind of love we got to have. Amen. That we look past the physical praise. <laughs> that we look past the imperfections. Because thank God, Jesus did that for us. He Come looked on. past all of our little hateful attitudes. All of our little, uh, woe is me kind of thing. He looked past all that and seen a Amen to God. Sing, praise God. Uh -huh. The prince or the princess you are, praise God, when you was a toad. Yeah. Glory Amen. to God. He seen past all that. He seen the beauty out of the ashes. Amen to God. Whoa. Glory Whoa. to God. He seen something in you that nobody else sees. Amen. Praise God. He seen a child. Amen. A king's kid. Glory to God. Amen. Praise God. The prodigal son's father. I'm sure when he come back home, smelling like a pig pen, looking like a mess. So he ran down the road and, yeah. got, and met him halfway. Ooh. That's the kind of God we serve. He will run. Now he'll go all the way for you. Praise God. He'll clothe you in his righteousness. He'll wash you clean in his blood. Amen. He'll set you by his side and yeah. say, look at my child. Hallelujah. Oh, that excites hallelujah. me right there. Because I know for me, praise God, I'm not perfect. And I know I needed a Savior, amen, to God. Oh. And for you, amen, to God, all of us have been in need of the Savior. Yes. And no matter how bad we treat Him, He still, when we call upon His name, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. He still comes, amen, oh, to God. Brother, he brother, still brother, comes brother, and shows brother, up. Brother. When we're going through pain, He still comes. Oh, <laughs> you push Him away and He's still walking with you. Hallelujah. Because He loves you. That's how much He loves you, amen, amen. God. And we fight amongst ourselves. We, we bicker and complain. And we push His Spirit out. Come on. See, the Lord is not going to go somewhere where there's constant bickering and fighting. That's why we don't see the Spirit of the Lord moving over the church today. Come on. 80% of the church, amen to God, they push Him out because it's all about self or, or they're fighting, amen to God. Or my denomination is better than yours. No! Put that garbage aside and let's love one another. Love you one another is what the Word of God says. Amen. Praise God. Amen. You need to grow up. Hallelujah to God. We can preach this Word in love. Amen to God. Yeah. We can do this in a way, praise God, that will touch people. Come on. Praise God. So, now, I'm not saying, praise God, don't get me wrong. Sometimes we've got to put our foot down and be, praise God, take authority over things. But I'll tell you, we can do it in love in Jesus' name. Amen? Amen. Go down to verse 31 and 32 in Ephesians 4. It says, Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. Put that guard. That is the, the, the works of the flesh. Yeah. That stuff should be gone from you, praise God. Come on. It says, and be ye kind one to another. Hallelujah. Yeah. Tenderhearted. Forgiving one another. Even as God for Christ's sake hath forgiven you. Amen. Be ye kind to one another. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. <coughs> you know, I think. You know, because whatever we do to other people, we do it to Jesus. And I can't see myself slapping Jesus in the face. But I do when I'm not kind to my brothers and sisters. Come on. I just slap Him in the face. I hurt my Jesus when I see that person coming that I don't want to talk to. Come on now, how many's ever done that? Yeah, amen. You see Him coming and you go like, oh. Yeah. Praise God. Or you pretend like you don't hear them when they're talking to you. Come on. Amen? Yeah. Or when they, you see them calling on the caller ID on your cell phone, you purposely don't answer because that's that person that you don't really want to talk to. Come on. Oh, You're man. doing that to Jesus. Yeah. Let's get real about it. You've got stuff in your life that you need to put at the altar. Come on. That's not the true love of God. That's you walking in the flesh. Amen. You're supposed to put that stuff away, he said. 
Be ye kind one to another. I'm talking to me too, amen to God. I'm not just talking to y'all or them out there on praise God YouTube or over the broadcast. I'm talking to me too, Mike Hesley, praise God. <clears throat> we need to strive to be kind to one another, love one another. Come on. Be tender hearted. Care care much about our brothers and sisters as Jesus does. Praise God. Or as you do for your personal family. Amen? Yeah. If we can't forgive one another, if believers choose to forgive, then God's Word will become more real to them. Amen? Come on. How many has ever... I, I, mean, I mean, I've heard stories, and, I, and I've had it happen in my own life, but when somebody forgives you of something you've done to them, there is a healing. Amen? How many has ever experienced that? Where if you did wrong to somebody and they've truly forgave you, and they come and loved you, praise God. There was a healing there, amen to God. Come on. I mean, their wounds was healed up. Hallelujah. Oh, Go over to God. That's a bomb right there, go over to God. Amen. A bomb, hallelujah, a spiritual bomb, praise God. When somebody can say, I forgive you and I love you no matter what you've done. Come on. That's a healing right there, praise God. Amen. You know how when you get a sunburn and you put like uh, ointment on it and stuff for aloe? It soothes that, praise God. Hallelujah, that, that love will soothe that burn. Soothe amen. that burn. Go over to God. It will soothe it, amen, to God. Amen. Praise God. I don't know if this will do anything for anybody else, but I'll tell you, oh, we need this tonight. Amen. amen. Simon Peter asked Jesus a question in Matthew 18, <coughs> verse 21 and 22. He said, Then came Peter to him and said, Lord, how oft shall my brother sin against me and I forgive him? Until seven times? Yeah. Jesus saith unto him, I say not unto thee until seven times, but until seventy times seven. Yeah. Now I know mathematically it's 490 times, but what Jesus was referring to here is unconditional. Yeah. Because if that's the case, 490 times, we done messed up in the first hour. I'm on. Amen. Unconditional. That's the way Jesus is with us. Yeah. Because when we mess up and we repent and we run back to Him, He accepts us in. And that's the way we got to be with brothers and sisters today. Amen? Come on. Who have, who have faults. That's Amen. where we got to be as those mature in Christ. We've got to help those that are immature and show them the way. Praise God. Just like us as adults have to train children. Praise God. Kids don't know sometimes what the adults know. Oh. Well, I should change that around. Praise God. Kids know more than the adults nowadays anymore, it seems. Praise God. They make you feel like you're an idiot sometimes. <clears throat> Come on. The way they talk to them, my Lord. Lord, if I talk to my mom and dad the way some of I see these kids talk nowadays, I'd be put down to the floor with a foot in my mouth. Hey, Amen. <laughs> Y'all got quiet there. Come on. I've had that happen several times. Hey, Amen. But I tell you though, we ain't seen the true judgment, amen, to God that God could put upon us for what we do to Him and each other. Come on. But He loves us, amen. Yeah. Got to forgive, praise God. Got to love one another. Go to God. Go over to God. Go the extra mile. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. I knew this wouldn't be popular, amen, to God, because when you start preaching about love and forgiveness, amen, loving that person you don't really want to be around, amen, to God. Come on. I know we got them. Come on now, be truthful. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. I know some of you thinking about one right now. Amen. Come on. Thinking about my God. I just don't. Ugh. I got to see him tomorrow. Amen. <laughs> some of you, it's in your own house. You're thinking about your spouse. <laughs> Come on now, don't shout me down. Some of you thinking about your in-laws. Hey, got quiet. <laughs> But we've got to love them as well. Come on. I know it's hard. Amen to God. Amen. It's hard. But we've got to show them the same love that Jesus shows us. Come on. Praise God. If we can truly love the way Jesus <clears throat> loves us, we'll see great things happen. You can have all the great gifts. You can flow in the in the laying on of hands, you can flow in the spiritual gifts, you can lay on the hands and people get healed. Yeah. But if you don't have love in your heart for your brothers and sisters, you profit with nothing. Come on. You can prophesy to nations, 
Praise God. Give words of knowledge. But if you don't love one another, profit is nothing. Come on. You can claim all day long you love Jesus. You can run the aisles. You can run the streets in front of cars and say, I, I am a child of God. I love everybody. But if you have one person you have all against, the love of God does not dwell in your life the way it should. Amen? Come on. We've got to walk in love. 1 John 4, 11 and 12 said, Beloved, if God so loved us, we ought all to love one another. Amen? Amen. No man has seen God at any time. If we love one another, God dwelleth in us, and His love is perfected in us. Yeah. Amen? Come on. That's good right there. Amen. That's worth chewing on a little bit. 1 John 4, 9 and 10. In this was manifested the love of God towards <coughs> us. Because that God sent His only begotten Son into the world that we might live through Him. Yeah. Amen? Amen. Here it is love. Listen to this. This is great. Oh, thank you, Lord. Woo! It's like a steak you can't swallow. Go over to God, you just chew on it all day. Here it is love. Not that we loved God, but that He loved us and sent His Son to be the preparation for our sins. Go over to God. Hallelujah. I want to know love like that. Amen. I want to know love like that. Amen. Amen. So we need to grow up. Quit acting like babies. Praise God and start being who God has called us to be. Amen. Come on. Start loving the way He's called us to love. Start yeah. living, praise God, for Him the way we're supposed to. Amen. Put aside all anger and jealousy. Quit getting mad because somebody's got your seat that you were supposed to have reserved for you. Get over that. Come on. Praise God. Get over the drama. How many's ever been through drama? Yeah. How many likes drama? I can't stand it. Praise God. Get rid of that drama. Praise God. Lord, there's enough drama in the church today. Come on. I tell you, you think all these dance teams or something, just get a bunch of get a bunch of quote old timey Christians together, praise God, and let them murmur and complain a while. Come on. Praise God. I think some of them are from the uh, amen to God from the wilderness, praise God. Man, they were murmuring and complaining all day long. That, and you wonder why we don't see the Holy Ghost move. You wonder why we don't see people filled with the Spirit. Come on. Because that's going on in the pews out there when the preacher's trying to preach, amen to God. Amen. People's murmuring and gossiping, amen to God, up in the choir, running their mouths about it. The preacher, praise God, said something that made them mad, so they're going to another church. I'm moving my letter, if you will. Come on. Got to give it. That's childish. Amen. You know, there ain't going to be no childish stuff going on. See, you can be childlike, but not childish. Amen. Amen. Yeah. He wants us to be childlike to believe Him like a child does his parents. Come on. But not childish. Put away those things. Amen to God. Yeah. Praise God. That's good. Childlike behavior leads you to sin. Come on. Come on. We tell our kids, don't put your hand in the cookie jar. Don't get those cookies. You need to eat dinner first. Amen? But what happens? Yeah. Got a cookie. Come on. They eat it. Christians today are putting their hand in the cookie jar. Dabbling in sin. Dabbling in gossip. Come on. Amen? Yeah. Dabbling in things they have no business dabbling in. And not some major sin, but they're just... They may just be there hearing somebody get talked about. And you're just as guilty as they are. Yeah. Amen? Amen. In the natural law, if you're uh, if you're uh, around somebody they commit a crime, you're called an accessory to that crime. Yeah. And sometimes they get worse punishment than the one that actually did it because they seen it and knew it and they didn't say nothing about it. Come on. To him that knoweth to do good and doeth it not is sin. Amen. 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 You know you shouldn't be doing those things, but you do them anyway. It's sin. It's sin. Yeah. And God does not bless sin. Woo! Go ahead. Hallelujah. Say amen, somebody. Amen. Stand to your feet with me tonight. Amen. You say, Brother Mike, that's probably the quickest we've ever heard you preach. Well, I didn't need to go into a long nine hour message. Praise God. That right there said it itself. It's time to grow up. It's time to be the man and woman in Jesus that we're supposed to be. Amen? Y'all don't think I'm negative thoughts about me. 
<laughs> Come on. Hallelujah. Because you just went against everything I preached. But we know we all do that. Come on, that's just honest. Amen. Let's just let's ask Amen. the Lord to just have His way in our lives. Make us more like He is. Let us decrease and become like Him. Amen. Just ask Him to fill your heart with His love. Lord, give us the love that You had hanging on the cross to where we can look down and forgive those that have done us wrong, Lord God. Help us, Lord, like Stephen was, or when they were stoning him, he looked up and praised You, dear God, and just loved You. He didn't, he didn't hold nothing against them. We ask You, Lord God, tonight to let us live out loud being a believer. Hallelujah. And to truly be committed to our calling. And to walk in love. In Jesus' name. Everybody said, Amen. Amen. Amen.